Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Review. So guys, firstly, I am going to give you my apology for the way that this video is going to bat out. <laughs> or should I say plan out? I've deleted the intro to my Shein video, guys. My apologies. So I'm doing a new intro. Next will be me doing the rest of my Shein unboxing. So um, hopefully you don't miss any of that. I don't know. I did adventure, I did venture into Shein because my daughter has told me she's got loads of things on there and she really does recommend it. Um, I've seen a few people do their hauls just to be sure that I wasn't walking into this and thinking, oh, I've bought from China brands before like um, Wish and I will never buy from Wish again. I had a really bad experience with them. Um, there was another company I had a bad experience with. I haven't had a bad experience with AliExpress. I've never ordered from Rose Gold or Dress Lily or anything like that. But this is Shein, guys. Um, my honesty, even though you haven't seen what I've got, this is a couple of weeks later. I will say that I was really pleased with everything that I got, to be honest with you guys. And this is me telling you a couple of weeks after. But enjoy the video. I'm really sorry it's a little bit on the scatty side, but... My apologies. All right, guys. Coming up next is Sheehan. Bye. See you on the next one. <laughs> Bye for now. This to last, because this is the item that I only ventured into Sheehan for, really. So we'll leave that to last. It feels all right. So let's go into these items. Now, my glasses are somewhere around here where I may need to put them on. Stick them on my head for now. So, item number one. Oh, oh. Oh, that's kind of nice. So, do you know, like, when you order from China and you expect that really kind of scratchy, silky material that does stretch, but they just seem to make everything in that material. I was a bit worried that all this clothing was going to be in that material, and I'm not a fan of that material, so I was a bit like, hmm. But this isn't. I'm quite impressed already. So, this... Is a top that I ordered, which was the one that was on the budget, like really, really cheap. So they put tissue paper in between the clothing. Um, let's see what it says. Let's see if I can find it. There's no prices here, guys, so I will try and add. I don't know if I'll be able to find these again, but I know it was way under £5. So this item, I think it's a plus mock neck cutout yoke top in extra large. So... It's ribbed, guys, and as you can see, it's very, very good material. So it's it's a high-necked one, and it's opened all at the front here, which I kind of like. So there you go. So the arms are like, like they're like curved but open, like sleeveless, and it's really, really nice ribbed material. Can you see, guys? It is actually ribbed, and it's actually a really nice, like is it polyester again let's have a look yeah 50 percent polyester 45 percent cotton five percent spandex so it says 30 percent 30 degree wash guys you can't iron you can tumble wash so that's good it won't stretch hopefully but guys as you know i will probably come back and tell you if anything is knackered after a wash we will see about this one. So, guys, I'm quite impressed. It's quite long as well, guys. And it looks like it's slightly tapered, which I like. So, it goes in at the hip. It goes in at the waist and out at the hip. Fantastic. I like the fact that they've come in these individual bags as well, guys. So far, so good. Second item of clothing. I cannot remember. But it is that material. Yikes. It is that material. So, this is the material that I was saying. But this is actually... It's not a scratchy, it's quite soft actually. So guys, they look nothing like they do on the page, but guys, they were super cheap. I think they were something like £3.50, maybe £5. They're just cycling shorts, guys, but they've got like no lining in the back, so it's just plain. So you probably will see your nickel lining. But I'm not going to wear these as a, like to see. You won't see it, they'll be under my long skirts. I just hate, I hate that rubbing sensation on my thighs. So I got them for that reason, guys. So it is like what you'd call the cheaper material. It is, um, it's sheer, but not that sheer, guys. And it's an XL. But um, yeah, for what the what I paid from, guys, I'm not really that bothered. Um, they're not a fashion accessory work 
you're going to be seeing them. So this is my next um, item. This is just something I spotted which was on sale. Again, it had that clock coming down, timing. You've got so long to buy it at this price. It'll go back to its original price. Now, very surprising, it's not that cheap material. So that is a bonus. So guys, they're all wrapped up with the tissue paper. Oh, I kind of like the material of this. Oh, I really do like this. So guys, this is the material. It's a crop top. Guys, it's got this mesh at the front and it's like a, it's high necked again, I think. And it's a triangular mesh. And then it ties here at the front, guys. So you can do this little, oh, okay. Mm. Oh, it crosses at the back. Sorry, guys. It goes around your back. So this is the back. And then this goes around the back like so. And it's like, it sits like here. So it's an extra band of material. Body harness. I put a few of them in my basket, depending on what this one's like. I think this might have been about seven pounds something, guys. Them, them shorts are high rise cycling shorts, guys. So because they're cycling shorts, they're in that material. If they'd been the other ones, they would have been cotton, but because they're cycling shorts. And then it's a mesh insert crisscross hem tank top, all in XL, guys. Okay. So this one is a studded detail harness belt, but it's a body, but it must be a belt as well, guys. It's getting hot in here. It smells like leather, like, it actually does smell like genuine leather, but I don't think it is genuine leather, guys. It can't be. No, not for that price. Um, but here you've got this strap here. And then you've got the other strap here. So it is a harness, but it's a belt harness, guys. You can adjust it. You can adjust it on the on the arm bits, on the chest bit here. And obviously you can adjust it at the waist. I will try it on, guys, so you get to see. It's got the O-ring at the back with this leather piece going through it. It kind of goes in a, a diagonal. They go across the back. And the belt's got two buckles, guys. You've got two fastenings. Like I've just said, it's on the tightest one. By the looks of this, you can adjust it from one, two, three, four, six adjustments, guys. So I reckon that will give you enough to get that on your waist. And I'm a plus size girl. So we will try this on, guys. Super cheap. If this is as good as I think it'll be, I will definitely venture into more of these next item as you know i am going to be starting a diy on um shoes some bags maybe glasses it's quite bent the case guys as you can see but it's in a case that says sheen on it like a little four leather case and it's all velvet on the inside guys these these are the rimless heart frame sunglasses guys they're a bit um mucky which is kind of weird they're very delicate guys but they've got little little like marks on them i just think that's just because they're dirty but they feel really nice on guys they sit really nice on the bridge of the nose they do have them nose pinchers in which i don't particularly like um my problem with my killstar glasses is because they've got the eye winged cat wing design here they always rub off my bloody eyebrows so these are not too bad they just sit nicely underneath my eyebrows they're quite big, they're quite pretty. I did say I wasn't going to get any high glasses, but I said these and I thought I do like the black ones. There you go, guys. So that's them. They were super cheap. And the, the nibs are actually built in, so you can't adjust them or move them. But I've got to say they do fit really nicely. They're quite wide, guys, so they do fit on my head. Um, quite snugly actually, but you can see that they are sat there, they're hooked behind my ears. They're quite big. Just slightly big, guys, I will admit, but... These are chain belts, guys. Now, I don't know how I managed to put two in there, but it did. So this is a Moon and Star Charm Waist Chain Belt. I have put a lot of these in my basket as well for the next time I do it a haul. Um, this one cost me enough, so I won't be doing another one as of yet. But I will buy some more accessories from here. So it comes with this little what they call fashion jewellery thing that you used to get on your jewellery you used to pick up from the market. I've had to pause guys so <coughs> take some headache tablets because my head is booming. That's a whole nother story. 
but as you can see i have got a couple of these upstairs i've got a few chains chain clips that i've attached to my trousers and stuff i need to take them off and just remember to attach them to other items but as you can see it's the moon and stars all the way along it's a good solid chain i mean it's not it's not a proper scarlet and chain chain like a rawr, but it's solid enough for what it is and obviously you're going to clip this on one side or to the other side if your clothing has got that i recommend getting a belt that's got probably some d-rings or o-rings on that you can hook them to and then it can just sit nicely off there i might grab one of my belts and just show you as an example on a try on but guys this was something like three pound 49 they're cheap they're really really cheap and i think for what you get like your quality of them they're worth it and here's the second one guys so was these Week. so guys these are leg garters right so here is the leg garter guys it's got a heart here and then they've got these four leather with the spikes in the front and then this bit is elasticated and it's adjustable so it's on the tightest one at the minute i did say that would fit my legs and they're elasticated so they would fit really nice i don't have any stockings at the minute to try them on with but i may just try them on in fact i do i have loads of stockings they're all in the loft guys i haven't got the energy to go up my loft my back is not letting me do anything there's no way i'm getting in my loft so you get two of them guys so i'm going to order these again in black they've got back ones as well so i think i'll get them these are amazing absolutely amazing and i've looked at all the feedback on all of these items and they were all 100%. There was one or two that said too small or too big or not as described, but nothing like some that I've seen. So that them guys, I think there was something like five pound forty nine. So my total order came to forty eight ninety five, guys. Okay, so let's go through this quickly. This was the Moon and Star chain waist chain belt. It was three pound forty. Obviously, it was three ninety nine. I got a, a discount because it was my first order, and I used my honey code as always. So I got two of them. Then that mock neck cut out yoke top was two pound twelve. Hence why I jumped on it. It was seven pound forty nine. The um, study detail harness belt was nine ninety nine. I paid eight pound fifty. Again, why I jumped on it. Them cycling shorts were three ninety nine. I paid three forty. They're cycling shorts, hence the material, not the other kind of shorts. The dress that I have not done yet is a neck applique mesh pocket skater dress. And it was $19.99. I paid $14.98. I absolutely love this dress. So that was why I, I ordered in the first place. The rivet decor heart shaped buckle belt harnesses were £4.67. They were $5.49. The sunglasses were $5.49, I paid $4.67, still cheaper than the others. And the mesh insert crisscross hem tank top was $2.92, was $5.99. So can you see why I jumped on this order? I had to. I got a discount. This cord's constantly on Shein. I grabbed another cord. Last but not least, let's get into this dress. I know you're all dying to see it, and I am dying to see it as well. So again, it comes in the Shein bag. I do like these bags. I will keep them for something. And this is the dress I fell in love with about eight weeks ago. I was surprised it was still on there. I went on my wish list, and it was still there. But everything else that I put on are pretty much gone, or my size had gone. So I was chuffed when I seen this was still there. So guys, tissue again on it. It is that stretchy material. I wouldn't call this that cheap material. It's really, really nice. The sleeves are three quarter sleeves, which I like. It's a skater dress, so it goes in at the waist. And then it's got this mesh detailed pockets with flowers on, which I thought was pretty cute. They look nice and they're quite deep pockets as well. And then it's a skater dress and it's quite long, guys. So I think it comes to maybe my mid calf. It sits at the back, guys, all the way down to um, here at the bottom. So it zips all the way down. And the pocket's on both sides of the dress. And I think if I look at the front of it... Oh, it's so nice, guys. I just think it's really, really pretty. And I just thought, this is a bit of me. It's not short. It's, it's not too long, but it's long enough. And it just sits in here, guys. I think it's going to look beautiful. I try not to hook it under my, my chin because it gets makeup on it when I do that. 
but it's quite a high neck as well guys now this like i've just said was 14.98 was 19.99 the material i'm sure this material is polyester without a doubt yeah 95 percent polyester five percent spandex and again wash dark colors separately now there is an odd little pull on it where the the flowers pull but if you just nip them off with a pair of scissors jobs are good on guys this dress is beautiful it is really really nice quality i think it's quite well made to be honest with you i'm looking at it now again the pockets are still nicely made there's no like holes or guys this is really really nice so i'm so surprised by this sheen i liked it so i got one dress two tops cycling shorts a harness two belts two leg harnesses and sunglasses and it cost me £48. I am not going to complain at that, guys. Because I would not get this much for £48 at Killstar. Hell no. That's for sure. All right, guys. If you want to see more of these videos, if you want to see more from Sheehan, pop a comment on below and say yes. I'd like to see more of Sheehan. If you don't, then, you know, I understand why. Um, but for affordability and just to grab accessories, I think I will dip into it for that reason. The waiting time was about probably about eight to ten days, guys, which is not too bad. To be honest with you, I didn't expect it to come until next week. So fantastic. All right, guys, hit that notification bell if you want to see when I upload, which is Tuesday, Friday and Sunday. Sunday's outfit of the week. It's still going on until I've run out of ideas and I can't do any more clothing and you're bored of it. If you're bored of it, comment below. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go and try them on. Stay to the end. Bye for now. Fits beautifully. It needs ironing, as you can see. Um, it's it's longer than I expected, so it is literally all the way down to the bottom of my legs. So that's fine. I'm happy with that. When it's ironed, it'll probably look a lot nicer. Now, let's get into the other things. Right, so as you can see, it fits nice. It zips up great at the back. Um, at first, I thought it might be a bit too tight on the arms. But as you can see, it's perfectly fine. It's that stretchy material. It's not too restrictive and I'm fine. I like the pocket detail, to be honest with you. I do like it. I think it's a nice little feature. And as you can see, it fits beautifully. And I do like the material of this. I don't know what it will be like to iron, but it is ironing. You could stick a petticoat under this if you wanted to, guys. I have tried to find mine. I gave up. There was no way in the world I would find it in that wardrobe. It is a disaster. Now, let's get into the, the, the one thing that I am disappointed about. So, guys, before I get into that, in fact, no, we'll get straight into that. So, as you know, I've got the body harness. I was so goddamn excited about this. I've never had a body harness. I can't really afford anything spectacular this year. This was cheap. And I know my husband always says, if you pay cheap, you get cheap. That's his quote. But it's no different to half of the ones that you see anyway. But now I didn't measure it. I should have measured my belts I've already got that I know that fits against this one. So guys, I have made it the longest on here. And it looks so nice. But as you can see, I'm a million miles away from fitting into this belt i don't know if i'll ever fit into this belt because it's where my rib cage is i can't see me getting any thinner than where i am here to be honest maybe i will because it'll come off my back and it maybe it'll fit i can just put it away but at the minute as you can see it doesn't fit but i wanted it to go with this dress but unfortunately as you can see it's not meant to be um i'm not gonna get rid of it I can't send it back because it does say no returns on the harnesses and the glasses and so forth. But I keep thinking, how is it going to fit me though? Because my rib cage is, is where it is. But I, I suppose it goes off the weight of your back. If I'm slender at the back, it might just fit me a bit better. I'll keep it for a year. And if it don't fit me after a year, I'll get rid of it. But unfortunately, that doesn't fit. I did say it looked small, didn't I? I just I can just tell by looking at things that it's going to fit or not, but you can't tell by looking at a, a PC monitor. Now this is my Killstar belt, 
It's the only belt I've bought from Killstar because some of the sizing again is a little bit small. I can't like put this on as it is because it's not one of them. If that's supposed to fit around my waist, it's not gonna happen. But I got this so it could dangle. So for for an example, it, it, it would go off there and then it would hang off. If I did keep the other one, I could have that one dangling from this one in here. So it gives it that extra bit of chain leverage. I mean, I've not hanged it off properly, but, and I've tried the leg harnesses on. Obviously they, they look a bit daft because there's no stockings attached to them. But in actual fact, you can extend these. They've still got a lot of extending to go. So these are great for the plus size. I mean, if I, if I pull here, I can make them, that's as big as they'll go guys, but they do still stretch up. So you could still stretch. Um, and they're not too uncomfortable. Same here, if I pull this, I've got one leg bigger than the other. <laughs> there you go. Now, obviously they're just dangling there. These don't come off, it's a shame, because if these were on here, you could still have them as a harness over like stockings or tights, but they were worth the money these, so I'm happy about these. It's just a shame about the harness, but you can't win everything. There you go. You can even, you can even pin your skirt back here, guys, and have it like this, so it looks like it's trailing at the back. Woo! There you go, right, let's go and try the tops on. So far, so good, that's the one thing. I think you might have to um, twist it before you put it on, but I literally like put it on over my head with the strap, otherwise, I'm not too sure how you would get any other way. So the strap is connected here, which is very, very freaking weird. And I don't know if you bend it over like so, and then, I don't know, it just all, it's all twisted and tangled and it's just kind of freaking dumb. I'm not overly keen on this bit. I may have to ask my mother-in-law to cut it off if I can't get to terms with why is it twisted. So as you can see, it's supposed to sit perfectly straight, don't mind my fold on the back here, like there, it's supposed to just sit there as an added bit of detail, I don't know why to be honest with you, but yeah, that's that top guys, um, it is nice, it feels nice, it would probably look nice, I would have lost a bit of weight guys, but um, I just, I'm not over keen on this bit here, um, I'll have to have a look on the picture how she's got it because to me it seems like it should go like that so it's in like a point there can you see how it's got and then it goes nicely around the back but it's all twisted so and you can't untwist it it's all connected so if you're going to put this top on after you've got a full face of makeup on you're going to end up getting makeup all over this this bit here um i have got makeup on it and i will just get a damp cloth and just wipe it down but I will put these in the wash anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But if you do catch your makeup and you're putting it on after you've done your makeup, just be aware that that will happen. But I like this top. Now, for £2, what was it, £2.49 or something crazy like that? I don't mind it. And I, I would probably wear a belt just to break it up. I mean, I've only just got my leggings on with it. I'd probably like to wear this top with my witchy skirts. My boohoo skirts that I've just got, they will look really nice with these if you don't want to wear leggings. But yeah, I like it, I like it. For the price, the material is nice as well, it fits nice. Um, I'm glad I got an XL to be honest with you, although it is a little bit baggy in places, I wouldn't want it too tight. It's a nice material this, this is probably the nicest, the most luxurious of the three. It's not rayon obviously, do you know what I mean? But there, has, there is some stretch in it and it's not too sheer and it just sits nicely on the hips. I like this. It's kind of tapered in here and it goes out on the hips. All in all, I think I'm quite satisfied with what I've got. That is it, guys. That is my Shein. Will I dive into it again? I don't know if I will buy as, as a clothes. I don't know. We'll see. It's got a really, really pull on my mind. Like, that dress I've been thinking about for the longest time. These are just... They were just cheap, so I just jumped them in. Um, I'm good about the harness, but if they do harnesses bigger than that, I may invest in a harness again. But if they're all the same size, I will never buy a harness again from there. And I will possibly just have to save my money and go to a proper, 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 proper person like Scarlet and Chains and get one done. 
All right, guys, take care of yourself and see you on the next one.